Vibes, my name is Carly, and uh, today I'm feeling a little low self-esteem. So, am I gonna wallow in that feeling? Am I gonna sit around and be like, hmm, I feel not good about myself? No, I am going to fix it the only way I know how, and that is with black box dye. Um, you cannot see me right now. I don't know what's with the lighting. The sunshine apparently isn't out today. Here we are. Um, my hair is lovely and beautiful, right? Long, healthy. Uh, however, I do have brunette hair. And that's not something I'm against, right? I love brunettes. But lately I've been doing this black box dye thing because it makes me look like a queen of the night. <laughs> Embarrassing. Because it makes me look like a, you know, forest witch. Um, I love inky black hair. It's one of my favorite looks. And uh, my brunette hair is growing out. And I've had this, made this decision a million times that I wasn't gonna re-dye over it. Here are my roots. As you can see, it kind of looks like I'm balding. Um, not really, it just kind of looks like I've got brown roots growing out. And that is starting to kind of bother me. I just don't really like the way that it looks. It makes my hair look not as full and luscious and healthy as it is because it looks like it's thinning up here at the base, which again is fine, but it's starting to drive me nuts, right? Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, and I've been wanting to dye my roots again for a while, but I keep having this back and forth where I'm like, no, eventually I want my natural hair. Like eventually I'm gonna wanna grow my natural hair out, this, that, and the other. Um, and also the excuse I give myself all the time is that like, I don't really ever wear my natural hair out and about. I usually put on a wig or a hat or whatever, but I also just came to this realization, you guys don't need to see me like this anymore, that um, it matters so much less to me what I look like out and about than what I look like when I see myself in the mirror at home, which is a lot. Um, and it really is a positive effect on my life when I look in the mirror and I think, oh, look at my beautiful, luscious, healthy hair. Um, so I'm gonna dye my hair and I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna dye my hair without, uh, with, well, so I am dyeing my hair with $3 box dye, right? But I am going to show you guys how I'm going to dye my hair to make it easier for myself in the future and uh, also keep it a little bit healthier. To make it easier to remove in the future, also keep it a little bit healthier. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so firstly, I use Revlon in black. Uh, not blue black, I like just an inky, inky dark black and that's what this gives. And um, instead of using the developer that comes in it, I'm going to replace that with this Clairol Demi developer. And what that means is, you know, generally developers are 10, 20, 30, 40, you know, and that's like the strength of the lift. Since I'm going darker with my hair, it does not need to be lifted. So I have a no lift toner. And basically what that means is that it's gonna turn this dye into a Demi permanent dye. So it sits on top of my hair. And I know you might be thinking, Carly, why don't you just use a Demi permanent dye or a semi-permanent dye like a, Oh, we talked about this, like a overtone or a manic panic or whatever, uh, because those dyes fade green. <laughs> I don't, they, I mean, every single time I've ever, also they come out so quickly. And this, I have tried this before, I've done this before. It lasts about as long as box dye does, which is way longer than an overtone, a manic panic, an Arctic Fox black wood. Um, and I just don't want my hair to be blue. And I don't want to bleach it up later if I want to bleach it up or I don't want to remove it later if I want to remove it and have it be blue. So this turns brown uh, or it doesn't turn at all um, until you take it out, which I love. This is my favorite color. This is what's on my hair. This is always what I use. Um, and then also I've never used this before, but today I have this Ion Absolute Perfection Booster, it's supposed to restore moisture, reduce breakage, prevent dryness during chemical surfaces. I like that. That's going to make me feel good about myself, right? Long, luscious, beautiful, Black hair is gonna make me feel so stunning. I can feel it. So, yeah, I'm about to get started. I just realized that I don't have a mirror, so be back. All right, so I have a mirror now. First things first is I'm gonna comb out my hair. I did brush it out earlier, so it's not super tangly, and that's why I'm using this very small comb to make sure I've got out all the tangles. And then, after I've got out all the tangles, I am going to separate my hair. Well, first I'm gonna part it nice, nicer than it is. 
Doesn't have to be perfect, right? We're dyeing our hair black, so we can just slap it everywhere. Um, and then I'm gonna section my hair into four sections. How are we? How are we doing? Also, I'd like to say I realize that you guys have seen me, like if you've been around for a while, you've seen me do this for like, you've seen me do dye my hair black a lot of times. Um, do the whole thing, do the roots, do some of it, do whatever. Um, yeah, I don't care. Um, <laughs> because this is me time and I, you guys are just lucky I'm letting you in on my me time. Cover my face and my ears in Vaseline because otherwise this dye is going to stick to me and stick forever. Not forever. You can scrub it off. I just would rather not worry about it. Bye bye tails of my eyebrows. I might need to take my eyebrows off before this starts because I am going to be dyeing them black. So we will see. Maybe we'll take them off when we get there. I used to want to slather it a lot. I think recently I'm trying to do more of like a good even, like this is with all the stuff that I put on my face and body, an even thinner, like a thinner coat, but that's more covered, you know? Cause I feel like that's more, uh, I don't know guys, my brain's not working. <laughs> all right, now that my hair is sectioned into four sections, can you see them? Do they look good? Uh, I'm going to show you guys how I do the mixy mixy so that this is an interesting video because I don't think that I've dyed my hair this way on my channel ever before um, just because usually it's like a spur of the moment decision. Y'all feel me. This little conditioner packet, keeping it. This is liquid gold for surezies. Um, and then my next suggestion is... To open the instructions, don't read them. You don't need them. Uh, but open the instructions and lay them out on the countertop where you're going to be dyeing your hair. That's what the instructions are best for. Uh, to min mitigate mess, in my opinion. Oh, also I don't have any of my own gloves, so I will be using these shitty gloves in here. Fun. These are my one pair of gloves. I better not fuck them up. One pair the whole time. Usually I change my gloves like seven times. Okay, anyway. So this is not clear, right? That's a little bit of a problem. You're going to hold it up to like sunshine or a light and see how full it is. So this is about this full, right? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and see. So there's text here. I think it's about as full as like ch this. You can't see that. The word children is right here. It says keep out of reach of children. That's about where the developer goes up to. You can kind of feel it in the bottle, even though you can't see it. All right, and now I'm gonna dump out this developer because I don't know what volume it is, but I think it's probably like 30. And when I dye my hair with this without replacing the developer, it does feel crusty. It feels, it feels pretty crusty. So I just dump that down the sink and then I'm gonna rinse out the bottle because I won't be using it. I won't be using a bowl or anything. To do my roots, I really prefer, and also when I do, I'm sorry that I'm talking all this and going. When I'm doing my roots or when I'm doing my hair all one color, I really prefer to use a color bottle. I used to always use a tint brush because I thought it made me look cooler. So much easier in the bottle. Way easier in the bottle. Okay, now I'm gonna take this no lift developer and I'm going to fill it up right to where the other one was filled up and you can use the same sort of measuring techniques as you did before. Hold it up to the sun, feel how weighty it is. Yeah, it's not full enough yet. I suppose I also could have seen like how much is in there. It says two fluid ounces, so I suppose I could have measured two fluid ounces, but that's not how we're doing things today. It's not quite there. It's a little bit easier to measure with like weight. Cause you really, it's hard to see through it. There we go. That feels about right. Just a little more. 
Yeah, here we are. Okay, now that I've got that developer filled up to where the other developer was filled up, I am going to take the color cream and then just mix it up like you would had you not replaced the developer, right? Right. Dump it on in there. And then also, while I'm at it, I'm gonna take this ion booster. I don't know what this does, but I'm trying to keep my hair healthy. Can you open please? Oh, there we go, just pops off. And then I'm going to put this thing in there, this whole little booster, booster shot. You guys got your booster shots? I have. I love being vaccinated. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and put on our one pair of gloves that we have. God help me and hope that our long pointy nails don't stick through them. <laughs> They're gonna stick a little bit better because you got Vaseline all over your arms. How about that? And uh, go ahead and get started, right? I'm gonna be looking over here because this is where my mirror is for now. Okay, let's take one out. Basically, what I'm gonna do is this. Oh, oh, drip it all over my face first and foremost. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. Good thing we got Vaseline on it. And then I'm just gonna start doing the roots and then pull in sections this way. Make sure the roots of this section are covered. Then pull it this way. Roots. Smoosh. Is this riveting content? You wanna make sure to do thin sections so you know, oh, oh, it's in my eye, oh. Blink a lot, blink a lot, blink a lot. Ugh. Okay, it's out. <laughs> I just like to do really thin sections to make sure that I've got everything covered, obviously. And like, if you're just doing your roots, I guess it would, like if you're doing your roots a darker color than your the rest of your hair, it would matter if it got on the rest of your hair, but I'm just doing my roots black and the rest of my hair is black. So it does not really matter if I get it on the rest of my hair. Cause it's also not like lifting it. So it's not gonna cause any like double processing danger. It's just sort of sitting on top. All right, so now that it's all on, my roots at least, um, I will say it was a little runny. Uh, I kind of prefer it because it makes it really easy to get it everywhere. However, I do, I'm not having fun with this situation. I don't like that. That's never happened to me before. But um, since I still have about a half a bottle left, I'm gonna go ahead and put it like on the rest of my hair. Um, and the way that I'm gonna do that is gonna be so cringe for uh, most people, I feel like people are getting less judgmental about um, the way people dye their hair, but um, I'm gonna go half, half and half. Um, and it's mostly on my hair anyway, like since it has dripped down and whatnot. But basically, I'm gonna put a, bu put a bunch of this dye in my hand now and just do the ends like this. Since it's all fully saturated up at the roots, I feel like I can be a little bit messier with the ends. See, look, they're already like, I mean, there are some dry parts, but it's already like mostly saturated. Plus it's already black, so it doesn't really matter. I just want it to all look like lush and new. Just nice, it's gonna be so nice to have this. Here we go. gonna make sure that it's everywhere yeah 
I think that looks really good. There's no missing pieces. There's no dry pieces. It's all nice and saturated. Fun. Okay. Putting this back up on its little clippy. I am just going to pin it back up and then I'm going to spend, I'm going to set a timer for 30 minutes and then I'm going to spend that time scrubbing down my face and neck and cleaning up. That's how I, I feel like that's always the best use of my time is trying to spend the time that it takes it to develop, trying to scrub the dye off my face. I need to get this more out of my way. There we go, that's better. All right, I'll see y'all in half an hour. Taking my gloves off. Ew, sweaty. Oh yes, it is dripping all over me. It is time to get it out. I also put some in my eyebrows. So I uh, guess I'll see you in the reveal. Hello, the light is even worse in here now, but I am here to show y'all my finished hair. Uh, today's getting ready process was just one of those times where it like was nightmarish. It just didn't go well. Um, but my hair looks really good and I came in here to show it to y'all. So here's how it's looking, nice and luscious and black and full. I'm wearing this blazer because usually I wear black clothes and you can't see my black hair, but look how long and beautiful. I'll show you the back. I'm really happy with it. I'm glad that I did this. It just gave me a little bit of a boost, made me feel pretty, made me feel like my hair looked nice and luscious and healthy. Um, and you know, all one color. It made me look like my, I made, I fixed my problem where I was looking like I was balding. Um, yeah, anyway. Oh, thank y'all so, so much for watching and I will see y'all next time. Bye.